In this tutorial, we will see how to calculate the reorder quantity for an inventory that is ordered using a fixed time period model. This is also known as a fixed order interval model. A fixed time period model is used when inventory orders are placed at a specific interval, for example, weekly or monthly. Since the timing of the orders is fixed, the order quantity varies. An important concept with this model is the protection period, also known as the protection interval. Consider a system where orders are placed every Monday. Those orders arrive on Wednesday. So, the order interval is 7 days and the lead time is 2 days. Consider if there is high demand on a Tuesday. We cannot order more until the following Monday and it will not arrive until the following Wednesday. Thus, the quantity we order any Monday must protect us from a stock out until Wednesday week. Therefore, the order must protect us for 9 days. This is the protection period. The formula shown on the slide. The order quantity Q equals the average daily demand of D bar times the protection period plus the Z score for the desired service level times the daily standard deviation times the square root of the protection period minus the on hand quantity. The first part of the formula represents the average usage during the order interval and lead time. In other words, the average usage during the protection period. The second part of the formula represents safety stock. The daily standard deviation times the square root of the protection period gives us the standard deviation during the protection period. Multiplying times the z-score gives us safety stock. The final part of the formula just subtracts the quantity we currently have on hand since that represents items we do not need to order. This formula is somewhat misleading. In practice, the bulk of the formula would be calculated once and written on the inventory bin or recorded in the database. The part circled in red on the slide represents the desired stocking level. At each reorder, the clerk would simply count the number in the bin and subtract it from this quantity to get the order quantity. When dealing with variable demand, we use a Z value from the standard normal distribution. Since we can only have a stock out when demand is higher than average, we are always using a one-tailed Z value. Specifically, we are always using the positive one-tailed Z value. The table on the slide shows common stock out probabilities and their associated Z values. In this first example, a company orders an item every week. Once ordered, it takes three days to arrive. Average daily demand is 150 with a daily standard deviation of 5. They desire a 98% service level and currently have 23 on hand. What should the reorder quantity be? The protection period is 7 plus 3 equals 10. The average daily demand of 150 times the protection period of 10 equals 1500. A 98% service level generates a Z value of 2.054. That times the daily standard deviation of 5 times the square root of 10 gives safety stock of 32.48. Combining these two values and subtracting the on hand level of 23 gives an order quantity of 1509. Since you cannot order partial units, this number is rounded to a whole number. Now here's an example for you to try. A company orders an item every two weeks. Once ordered, it takes five days to arrive. Average daily demand is 1,200 with a daily standard deviation of 12. They desire a 99% service level and currently have 105 on hand. What should the reorder quantity be? Since you've seen an example already, let me suggest that you pause the video and try to work this problem on your own. Once you're done, you can use the video to check your work and spot any mistakes you might have made. The protection period is 14 plus 5 equals 19 days. The average daily demand of 1200 times the protection period of 19 equals 22,800. A 99% service level generates a Z value of 2.326. That times the daily standard deviation of 12 times the square root of 19 gives a safety stock of 121.67. Combining these two values and subtracting the on hand level of 105 gives an order quantity of 22,817. If you found that this video helped you with your operations management problem, please consider liking the video and even subscribing to the channel.